Hello and welcome back to the channel guys, this is another review today and one that brings back a bit of memories not of the beer that we're going to sample but of the theme that it's called after so this is uh, the coffee shop of horrors ok remember that film back in the 80s the little shop of horrors we all went to the pictures as teenagers to go and watch Rambo, I think it was the very first first blood and then Rambo, I think it was Rambo we all went, <clears throat> chance for luck to get into Rambo, get knocked back <clears throat> and uh, the only thing that took my fancy that was left was the little shop of horrors Rick Moranis uh, but the wee the wee plant <clears throat> that ended up having to eat people it's pretty good, you know it probably left more effect, pr profound effect on my life than Rambo ever would have so so, and like you see you've got Rick Moranis type figure there as well so coffee shop of horrors, plant based white breakfast stout 5.6 percent, 330 can, uh, contains water, malted barley oats, maltodextrin, hops, yeast, coffee and vanilla and who makes it here? Brewed and packaged at Alphabet Brewing Company 99 Northwestern Street, Manchester and that will be what the ABC is Alphabet Brewing Company. So without any further ado, feed me! Let's get into this. I'm looking forward to this. It sounds good. Oh, it sounds and smells good so far. Now you're probably thinking that doesn't look very much like a stout to me. Hoppy. Well, I was thinking that myself actually. Peepel. So, uh, plant based white breakfast stout. So, there we go. First time, I've, first time I've seen one of them. I like my new camera, guys. New focus on my camera. Eh? Keeps this big heat out the road while it's focusing on the actual stuff that we're wanting to see here. Right, so it smells like coffee, man. Oh my god, it's beautiful smell after that. It's absolutely delicious smelling. It's superb. Let's just taste this. Never mind this aroma. It's a weird one. That is a strange bugger. Coffee's prominence there, it definitely is. It's nice, nice coffee. Might be the vanilla ram. You've got the stout, you know, because you're saying stout and your your eyes are only seeing the stout colour. It's got a beautiful smell. It's a bloody strange man that. Nice, don't get me wrong, but it's a bloody queer one. I'm stumped. The smell and the taste are two completely different things for me. I'm getting a coffee now. A couple of sips, isn't it? They've not long finished doing another. 
paste there and there's obviously it's a beautiful aroma another aroma it's weird it tastes like a bloody the darkest stout that you've ever had and yet look at it it's like a pale ale smooth, nice smooth texture of it the lips are very dry nice all round coffee flavour it's uh, aye, it's something else it's interesting to see if any of the, the viewers has tasted this one before what you thought of it I'd be interested to hear your comments down below there this tastes like a bloody black stout I just can't seem to convey into my brain that it's it's not black there's a slight fizz there as well when you're Although it looks pretty, pretty flat, there is a slight explosion of uh, carbonation. It's a strange one, Oren. And I like it. I like strange. Let's not stick to the same old bland stuff. Let's chop it around a bit. So, coffee shop of horrors, folks. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it's pretty good indeed if you get a chance to, to, to purchase it or if you see it anywhere buy it as I say again I'd like to hear your how, how your taste buds and senses differ from mine but I like it and here comes a rift what's that carbonation anyway guys thanks very much for joining us hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please subscribe and like if you didn't like it just don't like it as well press the thumbs down I don't care oh, it, it smells like you're going to have a nice sip of a beautiful coffee stunning See you on the next one, guys. Thanks very much. Thanks.